starting this. Starting this a little bit late, earlier than normal, but that is a okay because we're also going to be going later than normal tonight. My. Oh, I gotta edit that title. In all the excitement, I may have rushed a little bit going live, but that is A-OK. -okay. Let's actually start loading the game, and while it's loading, we will get everything prepped. We're not on day 9, we're on day 10 currently of our playthrough of XCOM. Should be us. Absolutely glorious. So yes. Uh, was a little bit busy prior to going live, so I decided to make sure I was absolutely done with everything and just got done eating dinner. So I'm fueled up. I have with me a cup of tea half a gallon of water and an energy drink so we can go for potentially 12 hours before we get into the nitty gritty of everything we're gonna double check everything make sure everyone that's injured is not anybody too pertinent uh... our medic we might want our medic we also have to wait a little bit until the psionic gate is done, so we're going to actually go around and do a few things while we wait for all that to be done. Actually, we'll just wait at headquarters, honestly. Also... Oh, I wonder if we get straight into it from the. Uh, no, we did need to do the autopsy after we get all the other black projects finished with, or the black side projects, or whatever they're called. Hate to do this. I love how we just open a portal the to the who knows where all. alien nether realm. And on the middle of our ship. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. Also, I hate to break a T-Shen, it's a robot. That's why we're using a robot and not we're set to a real human. All spectrums. <clears throat> Go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through. Okay? Also, we've slapped, we've flex taped a codex brain to this thing. It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. 
Go on. We're counting on you. did work. There was an instant where the was device was something? in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. That is actually quite phenomenal that that repulsed. We are now that prepared quickly. to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, Commander. Ooh, here we go. We so. We on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. We are... Oh! This, this is gonna be quick! ...represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished. Perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. Well, I believe we have found our avatar. That's pretty insane. That thing came up and said, Hi, diddly ho, neighbor, you know? The end is nigh. A lot earlier than I thought it was. So what I'm probably going to do is if I do beat this early, I'll probably do another run through on Commander. Just so we can challenge ourselves Avenger with that. Plotting new course. Uh, we'll go here. Gain intel instead for the days that we need it. Africa. Not that we actually need the intel. The judge. That's a nice ability. No lance, that is. Yeah, we can take out a UFO, a landed UFO. Take out our B team. Setting course for South Africa. Because we want to have our A team ready to go for. Apparently, the assault on the aliens' high council or whatever it is. So that's exciting. One, two, three, four. Yeah, not part of our B team. I mean, yeah, that's what we're You, you, you. We'll take a grenadier. Our ninja ranger. You don't, do you need promotions? No, you do not. Probably need some weapon upgrades though. Uh.
We'll take... We'll take you. Let's make everything available. Utility. And armors. Let's set everybody up and get ready to go. Honestly. Oh, you do have the race suit. That's actually what I wanted you to have. That's great. But you do not want that grenade. You actually want... Something else. Talon rounds, I think? Yeah, Talon rounds. You, of course, get the skull jack and a med kit. We also want to bring a mimic beacon. Ah, we have that. Tracer rounds, that's good enough. You'll be our other Mimic Beacon we bring. We need piercing, so you get piercing because you have a better aim and we'll upgrade that. Actually, I think I might want to give you something aside from the tracers. You probably get the piercing and I don't want Well, your aim is sucky. And you get fire, 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 fire. No, you'll get the other Pearson rounds. And I think I might just give you fire. And a little bit of extra armor. I think we're ready to go for this have on the uh, have the B team ready to go ready and raring to go So yeah. Currently assaulting a landed UFO while we wait for the autopsy on the incomplete avatar to be completed. And I don't know if that'll allow us to instantly go to the end game, or if we'll have to do one more thing before then. But I'm getting excited. Also, greetings to everyone that's showing up. How y'all doing today? The resistance has been making moves against the aliens in this area, and it looks like they managed to disable a UFO on the ground. We're moving in to secure the site. Eliminate any hostile resistance and seize whatever gear you can from that ship. We have a very large surplus of gear. After getting some Psy operatives, this veteran difficulty has kind of became a walk in the park. I mean, mind you, there's still is a danger on my troops, especially whenever I make a mistake. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what it's like late game on Commander, because unfortunately, when I first started, I tried to go through it on Commander difficulty, but I was just too inexperienced, I suppose. I kept getting squad wipes, making mistakes that would take out my best soldier at the time. 
And even on veteran, I've lost quite a few units, but. Our skill has progressed to the point of which I'm confident I can get through it on commander. Might take me a retry or two, but. Because the thing to keep in mind is, in the very beginning of the game, the Advent have one less health, and all your troops have one more health on Veteran. But on Commander, you have one less health, and they have one more health. So, yeah, plus... It takes, I think it takes a little bit longer to do certain researches, do certain buildings, what have you. Oh, uh, we'll wait to move our snipers. Always move your snipers last. Move them on target location. Yeah. It's gonna be a second. We're gonna go through this mission really quickly and then hopefully we won't get any interruptions before that autopsy on the... What's it called? The incomplete avatar is done. Again. Hello to everyone showing up. How are you all today? We currently have our B team out and about. Because we want to save the A team for the actual assault on... I don't know, the council, I guess they're calling it. I wonder if my uh, Grenadier can actually hit that area with proximity mines. Nope, not yet. Uh, hmm. We'll wait a turn because I want to show off why I love proximity mines so much. Well, I guess we're just going to Overwatch instead. My bad. Hopefully they won't. Okay, good. Maybe another group will. Alright, great. You? How about now? Can you hit them from here? Nope. That's unfortunate. So we're going to move you up over here. Then we're going to move a grenadier at the car. Hit him with a grenade. Well, in quotation marks, grenade. It's a uh, proximity mine. The cool thing about this is this group takes eight damage no matter what. And concealment doesn't get procced right now. But as soon as it does and they move, the prox mine goes off. The question is who's going to break concealment? Probably our sniper, or we could do a uh, concealed kill zone thing for squad sight. I think that only fires once though, so we might as well just shoot with our sniper. We're going to go for, even though it's a 63%, we're going to go for the Andromedon, so it could potentially get taken out right off the bat with the prox mine. So it's going to get blown up with the prox mine, that's great. That takes care of this pod, basically. Especially if we get crit hits on the... Are those 8 health? Yeah. I mean, polish off this meeting with your pistol. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. So, as a little bit of a information drop, something that I'm probably going to be saying 
frequently throughout this stream. This stream's probably gonna go till like 8 a.m. Eastern time, which means about 10 hours. This this will potentially be a 10 hour stream. Considering I'm probably gonna beat this within the next two hours. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh well. Considering I'm uh, probably gonna beat this within the next two hours or so, I'm probably gonna start up another game right after this on Commander difficulty. While we just talk about the ending and whether or not I'm gonna actually finish it on Commander difficulty before I move on to another game or move on to another game next week. But knowing me, I'll probably want to finish up this on Commander and then go to some other game. Let's just blow it up. Guarantee the kill. With the psionic ability Fuse, which allows us to detonate any grenades on any enemies. And since mutants have grenades, we'll blow that mutant up sky high. This guy doesn't know what to do. Oh, there he goes. The servos are in motion. I mean, thanks for putting yourself in the spot for us to kill you. Or, not maybe. Oh, I remember this. Okay. Yeah. Inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. I hope it's worth it. I don't think you have the ability to shoot your pistol and then might as well just kill this thing anyways. There we go. That's taken care of. So yes, if anyone feels like chatting throughout the evening or what have you, I will definitely be able to see it. I got chat open on a, on my tablet. Sorry about that. Seems doable. <coughs> Affirmative, covering now. Scanning. Sure thing. Moving to the right. So if you have a, a late night plan, like you're intending to stay up for several hours later than you normally do, what's your uh, drink of choice or your go-to method of staying awake? For me, it's an energy drink. Anything from a Red Bull, Monster, to now these things, these bangs. This is the first time I've ever had one of these types of energy drinks. Currently drinking a peach mango flavored bang. And they're actually pretty good. That, or I'll go with some tea. Move, move, move. Heading out. I mean, we can get you up on this roof. Might as well. And then we'll reload with you next turn. Don't know why I'm throwing you out there. You should not be anywhere near this area. That's alright. Double time. We only took out a group of three, so what is that? There's eleven minus three, that's eight. There's eight more aliens apparently, according to the lab or whatever it's called. 
Probably not. Oh, two soldier mech soldier faces and a heavy mech. The heavy mech's probably gonna go on Overwatch immediately. Yep. That's great because we're Yay, there you are. Ninety one percent to hit the elite officer. No, a nine percent. My bad. Um Wanna go for the seven percent dead eye? No. We'll go for the nine percent sniper shot. What's the over under on this hitting? I mean obviously nine percent, but What, what are we betting on? We're betting on miss, right? I'll bet on miss this turn, too. But let's see. Could get lucky. Nope. It's a miss. How unfortunate. Oh, you got a way better chance. So if you're sticking around and you like what you what you've seen right now, I am a variety streamer. This is not the only game I will ever stream. Thinking about the next one being something like Detroit Become Human or something like that. Regardless, if you enjoy, feel free to leave a follow. The following is always free, and not only does it help you be notified whenever I go live as long as you have notifications turned on it also helps out the channel I thank you in advance for doing so ooh nice hit the other thing I would say is if you want to catch up on my previous streams I upload everything to YouTube it might not be the very next day after a stream but it'll all get up there eventually and you can go over there subscribe to me if you want and you can also follow me on me Twitter just in case I ever have a situation like today where I'm running a little late I'll post an update and be like hey I'm running a little late All right, I'll go. you'll be able to truly get the notifications of whenever I go live all that is at King Tunes 456 or if you don't feel like searching it you can scroll down or hit the info okay, bar if you're on go. mobile and hit one of the uh, the buttons that'll take you to those links what oh that's right he has uh, the ability to take a secondary shot or he doesn't? Whatever. I could have moved, but I decided to leave him there so it would beta. Okay, I was hoping that would have missed, but unfortunately that did not happen. Yeah, you're gonna get cut in half. Actually, you're gonna get sawed in half because, in honor of the fallen Phil Swift. Yes, I did make a meme character. We're gonna solve this elite officer in half to show you the power of flex tape. Not that much damage, but enough to get the job done. Happy now? Very much so. Thank you, Ranger, who I think this is Absolutely. our second mission taking them on. Because we just got them at either the HQ or the... black market with intel. Absolutely. Aside from that, hello, greetings and good day. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. A nine crit? That's how it's done. That was amazing. Overwatch. That was absolutely phenomenal there. I'm going. Should have made you the uh, marksman. Instead of a sniper focused sharpshooter. We'll keep you outside. And you you'll stay out too, I think. Because next turn we gotta take out that uh distress beacon. Ooh! You saw that. Watch this. 
Okay, here's the idea. They have Salvo, I hope. Otherwise, this is going to do a lot of damage to us. We're going to move over to here, which is out of the range. Perfect. So, I think we might have got spotted. If we did, they're going to move, and then that's going to cause the... Yep. We get rid of that sectoid. Do some damage on the gatekeeper. Lag the game because reasons. Oh, good lord. What did I do? I'm sorry. Forgive me, please. That is definitely the game. Okay, we're starting to catch back up. There we go. We're back to speed. That was a little wor that was a little worrisome. Um It was Vandal that took that hit. That's right. 47. That that's rough. You want to take two shots at the uh, gatekeeper and hit both of them, please? It's a 40%, but... Wait, first of all, first things first, heal you. Because you're going to come in and you're going to help us out. Go pack him up. Greetings and good day to everyone who showed up. How are all of you doing this evening? Or today, or what have you. We're currently waiting on the... Incomplete avatar to get the autopsy finished with so we can assault the aliens home base Basically You can't get to a good spot can you no that's unfortunate and then after that we will take our a team out and assault the Alien home base this is basically just the warm-up Hopefully we'll hit with both so shots, that would be great. Shot the first. Hello XD1000G, how you doing? Negative damage. Hmm. Who has a shot on... What can you do? You can inspire. We are going to inspire you. Have you moved all the way, Vandal? You have. Okay, you get inspired. We will overcome. Because that's what we can do with our current psionic. Oh, I don't like that. That's too... Home from work. Yeah, you chilling? That's cool. Uh, probably gonna be a late stream this one. So if you have to go at any time, um, that's good. That's fine. Because I'm probably gonna be going for like ten hours tonight. Cause it's Friday going into Saturday. We did that last week, so except we went to twelve hours last week. Let's just kill this thing so we don't have to worry about it. Someone's going to get really hurt from the gatekeeper, unfortunately. We have one turn left to deal with that. Okay, in that case, in that case, we sort of have to get our ranger up there. I probably should have used the wraith suit. So he would have just went through the wall. I work Saturday. Gotcha. You don't have run and gun? Wraith? Does Wraith get you there? Does not.
Uh, I have no idea what the alien response does. Does this mean a heck of a lot of reinforcements, or does this mean we fail? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I just used Inspire. That's not going to work. Oh, crap. The double move, I think, takes away the ability to hack that. So, we're gonna find out what happens. Oh, I'm an idiot. That works too. Why don't we actually use our specialist that we have set up for that? Little mistakes. I mean, we're gonna go for the 45%. I doubt it's going to hit, but eh, might as well try for it. I don't know if you were the, uh, here yesterday, but I'm in. we got Ghost. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like Maybe that was two days ago? Ahead. I don't remember. Anyways, we got Ghost back from uh, him being captured. And he hacked, not on the same mission, but he hacked two sectopods. On a, like, I think it might have been a 38% chance to hack them. Maybe it was a 48. No, it was 38, I think. But it felt so good actually being able to, uh... To Overwatch. How is that not cover? Whatever. Being able to hack... Come get some. Those sectopods and, like, use them against... The basically use them as glorified mimic beacons. Now this gatekeeper is the biggest threat. Hopefully it's going to move right towards us and proc every single overwatch. Or it's going to run away. Because it's terrified. Okay. I'm actually really surprised about that. Um, well, let's slowly leap frog up forward. You're just going to kill zone? In this general vicinity? Let's run you forward. Send four. You go into Overwatch. Got it covered. Data, that catches you on fire for some reason. You feel like, why do you feel like running into the fire? Please don't do that. Thank you. Please come again. We'll run you up here. I'm all over it. Judge, we'll run you up here and put you in Overwatch. On your order. Oh well, yeah, I'm getting excited. Oh, you actually have line of sight on that thing? Oh, you only have a third. That's rapid fire. I thought you had um the guaranteed shot. You not only did you manage to hit, you got a crit. That 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 was actually awesome. Oh, more soldier McSoldier faces. Glorious. They didn't proc Overwatch. Um, they are gonna proc a proximity mine next turn. No, that's a mimic beacon. I'm more than okay with that. Mimic beacons and prox mines are like the best things in this game. At least vanilla. I'm not so sure about the DLC stuff. Scanning. Let's put you over behind this full cover. No problem, boss. And put you behind this full cover. Moving to position. I could conceal you. I don't know what purpose that holds. But I mean, you're gonna go for this considering how good your shots have been. Eh, that's alright. I'll take it. A coin toss out of our favor. Not good. But yeah, uh... We currently have our B team out and about on this mission. Basically, it's practice to get me warmed up for taking our A team out against the aliens' headquarters, I'm assuming. Whenever we get done with that avatar autopsy. Got it covered. Can you, like, grenade? No, you can't grenade anybody. That's unfortunate. You can overwatch, though. 
You will just stay there. Nice. And it's dead. We also did some damage and took out the cover of the officer, Soldier McSoldier Face. He, of course, is going to go straight for the Mimic Beacon because that's all he cares about. Didn't kill it, so the other one's going to go for it as well. I love how the AI kind of forgoes all logic when there's a Mimic Beacon in play. And it just, they, they beeline it straight for that thing. A really cool setup is throw out a Mimic Beacon and then have a proximity mine in the path of the alien that's going to run through it. It's only going to do damage to the one alien as soon as it hits it. But, uh... It's good enough for a cute little setup. Cute little setup, whatever. Nice. Noise. You know that was good. So so far I think we've only had one damage be done to us, and that's against our uh I'm on it. Ranger, unfortunately. We can put Oh, soul fire. It seems like the soul fire is going to insta kill it. Potentially. Six damage. Not an insta kill, but. I mean. A 90 to kill. Go for it. And we kill. Absolutely glorious. And we get the loot. There you go. You want this? Of course. Even though we don't need it. Yeah, all well, our rangers received an injury, unfortunately. But yeah, since we're getting close to the end game here, uh, and I want to go late, like I said, I want to go for like 10 hours potentially. We're probably going to start up a commander difficulty game after beating this. Mind you, this will probably be after we do some character customization stuff, because... One of the things I love having is custom characters, especially if... They're created for people in the chat. If you yourself would like me to make one for you... Feel free to say, yo, make me a customized character. We have several opportunities available for you. Opportunities? No. Several individuals open. That's the word I'm looking for. If we're not interrupted, the very next mission we go on is the end game mission. So I'm excited. Boom, boom, boom. Our troops continue to exceed expectations while working with limited resources. Impressive, command. Uh, we'll quick draw, honestly. Yeah, you can definitely tell that. This is our B team because of how few missions. Like some of these people, it was their very first mission. Dallas has been on seven missions and only has 11 kills. Pitbull, four and 10. And Data, 14 and 22. Ooh, a dodge for 24. That's really good. Oh. Uh. Yeah, the Shadow Chamber. They're currently doing the autopsy on the Avatar. After this, I think we go to the last mission and we go from there.
As cool as that sounds to get a heavy weapon, uh, we're gonna setting course for the East African sector. We're gonna mainline the main story. No true purpose in doing this, considering we're only going to take two sci or two top psionics with us when we go out to take out the alien base. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go inform right me of what, commander? Central. The Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the Psionic Gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the Gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. Well, that's no. not necessarily true. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. Oh. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure huh. here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can, in a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things? by remote control. Uh... Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. I see stands, where this is going and I don't know if I like it or not. individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That is yeah. different. The stasis suit created the perfect interface to the network one tailored to your specific biology commander of any human candidate you are the most likely to survive the connection well we get most to go in a battle is not good enough, sort of doctor. on tech it is the only answer i can give you and our only option to traverse the alien portal we need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door which will give you some time to think about this i'll ring the doorbell This specimen, this being, is something else entirely. Dedicated entirely on for discovering purpose avatar. Shock to see troops on the encounter. Most probably fully responsive specimen. Failed. Combat and dispatch. Moderate difficulty. Uh, somehow. Well, it's incomplete, so that's why. So what I love is, I, I'm, I'm reading this as I say this, but I love the idea that the... Elders are slowly dying, and there's nothing they can do to stop it. They've been preventing it for a very long time using other ge other genetic code, I believe. But they finally came across us humans, and because of how adaptable we are as a species, and how like receptive we can be to certain things, and I mean, just how awesome humans are can in general, they figured they could figure out a way how to get apparently themselves to be stable yeah yep they're trying to figure out a way how to get themselves stable and that way is by putting their mind inside of a humanoid psionic Hmm. Okay. Now what do we do? Priority message for the commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, 
It's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When did he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar project. Oh, the we actually in place marked for the one of their elders. Processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Oh no. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy. A final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. Well, at least he took a couple out, poten uh, potentially a couple out, before he got taken out himself. That's a shame. I might not have liked hearing some of his comments about how bad I was doing, but I loved his voice. Man, that actually sucks. One of the only people on the council from XCOM to stick around and actually help us, even though if he was kind of a jerk about it at, point, at certain points when we weren't doing too hot. He still stuck around through thick and thin, and he gets taken out by some soldier mixed soldier faces. Then again, he did one-shot that one, so he is pretty B.A. himself. Assault the Advent Network Tower. Okay, so it's not just diving headfirst into the Advent HQ. Uh, Well, what? We have intel options? How do we have intel options? When did this become a thing? Uh... We're gonna take one more soldier. We're gonna get one free use of run and gun. And we're gonna launch the mission. This is phenomenal. Commander, once we move on the Advent Network Tower, it's all or nothing. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should only That's deploy fine. once we're fully prepared. Cha. Cha. If we're going to infiltrate the um. Advent Network Tower, we'll have to use a smaller squad. Try to draw less attention to ourselves than we already do. Okay. One psyop. Our marksman. Sniper. Ghost. Of course, we gotta take Ghost. And Taxman? I think we might take Taxman. Ooh, excuse me. We might take tax man on this one. Well, 
Well, let's make sure we make everything available, of course. I.e. Utility and armors. We have no medic with us. So, of course, you're going to get some, some boosted armor. You are going to get AP rounds. You yourself are going to get the skull jack right off the bat. And you are going to take with us an EMP grenade and of course proximity mines. You're also going to take with you the war war suit. Yes, the war suit. Oh, good lord! This is as tough and strong as we can make it, with plenty of power for handling heavy weapons. Yep, most definitely. We have two flamethrowers or the shredder. We'll take the shredder with us. Uh We wanna give you something. You're our psionic. Probably Probably flame. Actually we haven't used it much. Let's use some venom rounds instead. This will be the first time we've used these. And you a weapon or armor? Mimic beacon. You get a mimic beacon. Yep. And you probably as well. Yep. No med kits. Just in case, we'll, we'll take the med kit on you. Yeah, just in case. Okay. Yep, that's us. We are good to go. It's been a while since we've only had four soldiers. But look at their buffed up upgrades. Speaking of buffed up upgrades, let's make sure we have everything that we want them to have on their weapons. You have plus four to health. You have the dodge. You have aim. And I think you have willpower. Yeah. Do we want willpower on you? Yeah, you're a sonic. It makes sense to have the willpower on you. I do believe that's us. And we're ready to go. Alright. Let's secure the data. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting excited. But the kind of game that this was, the story is actually really, really good. 
And I'm not trying to dog the game or anything like that, but normally you have like these... Well, now that I think about it, a lot of turn-based strategy games actually have a really good story. The same for RTSs. I mean, of course, there's your, your obvious cliches here and there. Like, how much we want to bet that the final, final mission is going to have our commander have to sacrifice himself at the end? Commander, like, I bet that's something that's going to potentially happen because of cliches. First, we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network before the speaker finishes his latest broadcast. Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. With Advent in an uproar, we'll access the portal and take the fight to their front door. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. It's risky, but it's the best shot we'll get. Once we start this, there's no turning back. Oh, does this mean we don't bring these four with us on the next mission group? That would be a slight shame. But, I would be okay with that. It would allow us to take more individuals. Would we only be taking three if we didn't use the, have enough intel for, or we didn't use the intel to take with us four? Move to infiltrate the network tower. Locate the access of course it's going to be timed. It has to be. Signal. It's not. Okay, I want to call BS there. Here I come. Out. We've spotted the aliens. Oh, we're not concealed. I see why the concealment thing was an option now. It's a good thing I didn't rush everybody for forward and only the grenadier. Uh, how do you not have line of sight on anybody? I'm half tempted to run and gun with you. Yeah, we're gonna run and gun with you and just book Don't it up here. <clears throat> I mean, nice. Five damage. And now we shoot with face off. Another five damage on the Andromedon. The Viper should only have three health. Yes, they do. We could take out either or. Just insanity it, I think, maybe. Yeah, just insanity. The, um. Bat. Reality and then go TV. for. The Andromedon. Oh! That worked. But it killed it, unfortunately. 31, take this out. Go for it, Ghost. You got the aim for this. Like I said, you got the aim for this. Unfortunately, that thing's gonna run up and try and attack one of our soldiers. Probably, probably a sniper. Uh, that was a little weird. Ninety-seven, you gonna miss a ninety-seven like you've been a couple of times? You're not. Great. I love how he just puts it over like it's a rifle. Take this thing out, ghost. Great. You want some more? Now we'll uh overwatch with both of them. Well, we kind of wait for the acid to 
go away. Here I come. On the move. And everybody else who's available to do it, we'll put them in Overwatch. Again, we're doing a leap, leap, leapfrog maneuvers. Should be on patrol, come right towards us, and hopefully we'll uh, take him out. Let's there we go. We procked him with our psionic operative. That's great. Not exactly where I thought they were. Uh, maybe we can dominate one of them. That would be cool. I think we'll have a 90 to do so. Do, 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 do. Domination. Yeah, we have a 90. Don't Go for the domination on this Archon that's right next to you. We got it. That's actually great. That takes out one of the more dangerous things. Go for Lightning Hands 84 to do some damage. You hit. It was only a dodge. A graze, I should say. Uh, yeah, 55, we can move you up a little bit, well, first things first, move you up, Let's move already. then we'll move you up, Finally. then we're going to shoot you with our sniper rifle, our snipper rifle, maybe we'll crit and get a kill, that'd be great, two damage shy, I think. No, four damage shy. This should do it in. And it does. Nice. How many is that now? So I think we're literally on the last mission right well, the last two missions right now. This one and then the very next one we get right into. Uh let's take our mobile mimic beacon and just Throw them up here. Nothing. Okay. Here I come. Here I come. I'm tired of waiting around. Heading out. Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch. Oh, Overwatch. Is there actually some way to take this bridge down, or...? That's one of their transmitters. They didn't put a whole lot of effort into disguising the alien tech involved. I mean, why would they when they have the support of all of humanity? Also, hello to everyone that showed up. How are all you all today? Oh yeah, there's absolutely no way to get over there from here. So we're gonna have to go around. We're just going to move you as far as we possibly can, as quickly as we can, to see who we spot. Kind of surprised about that one. Let's move already. Running. 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 Okay. That should be everybody up there. Again, take you in here and see what you got going on for yourself. Oh, there you are. Next turn, we'll probably just 
fire everything. Rolling out. Just in case we'll have you there. And you, I kind of want to give you this, uh, this elevated position right here. Oh. Well, hi there. Um. Mistakes were made. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Mimic Beacon. Who has the Mimic Beacon? He does not. Oh, crap. Okay, proximity mine. Uh. That's actually perfect. So that potentially saves our sniper from taking two flank shots. Because they're going to drop into the building below as soon as they try and move. Hopefully they try and move, please. Okay, good. That's dead. Oh, I forgot to put you on overwatch. I don't think you, you did hit. And it did enough damage to... Cover my flank. Glitch you Watch out? What? Okay. That wasn't... What is going on? Apparently, okay, now it's dead with stage one. What the heck is happening? You took a little bit of damage from falling. You didn't take any from the hit. You're you also have untouchable. I have no idea what's going on right now. That thing is glitched out. I guess. It's dead now. How many is that now? Uh I guess we got I'm that. Okay, hold on. Let's just just in case. Okay, that's weird. Let's move already. Yeah, we're gonna just keep you here because I don't want to engage with the Viper group Got yet. Come get some. Well, that is one heck of a visual glitch. Here I come. Pretty funny, too. This will probably spot the alien. It does not. Ooh, I have an idea. We're gonna move... Right here. Spot the alien. Target in range. Move to hack the command console. Oh yeah, it was definitely cool, and it worked how I thought it would. It killed the Codex because of the fall damage, and it helped save our sniper. But I have no idea how it happened, because I think... Yeah, I think the Andromedon ran under our sniper, missed the punch, took out the cover because almost every single thing that has a melee attack in this game can destroy cover when they do their melee attack, which is something that I'm not bitter about whatsoever. Uh, oh, let's not Null Lance our ally. Thank you very much. Uh, 
we can potentially kill the Codex outright. Which I'm going to because I'm more terrified of the Codex than anything else right now. But yeah, it was definitely cool. And that was an insta kill on the Codex. Nice. I mean, go for the 55. That works. Using the alien RNG to our advantage now. You, we're just gonna run you on up ahead, and you, we're just gonna overwatch with you. Because we basically have our mobile... Okay, you're gonna try and... Oh, you're not gonna try, you're going to poison our medic. I mean, not our medic, our sniper. Luckily, we have a med kit, so we can get rid of that poison. I forgot they have that. Oh, you're both poisoned. Crap. You're immune, right? Yeah, you're immune. You only have one use of the med kit. Go for the 55 kill on this thing. You missed. That's alright. I don't even know what to do with you. Get you out of the poison, obviously. Same goes for you. Get you out of the poison. Void Rift. Yeah. Maybe it'll do something else and kill it. It looks like it does. Okay, apparently we're just going to mind control it with a Void Rift. Who's keeping score? And then it dies because it stayed inside the Void Rift, I guess? Oh, no. You're just going to hunger like Overwatch there. Same goes for you two. Yes, you're poisoned. We know. We know. You're fine. You have enough health to be poisoned 20 times. You're fine, too. It's okay. Oh, get ready to do the objective. Again, there's poison in the way. We'll move you here just in case. And we'll move you up here just in case. Same goes for you. On the move. Come get some. Affirmative. Covering now. That didn't feel good. You guys still poisoned? Nope. And you should get rid of poison this turn, too. Yay. And... Mission complete. I'm not supposed to shoot this thing? It doesn't really matter. Considering I think we beat the game after this one. Well, the next one. We're through! Confirmed. We have, we control, have control, of control of the network tower. tower. The, the signal, signal is going, going out. Vipers. Remember, vipers have a grab, a shot, and a poison they use. That's one of the few things that I keep forgetting about. I love how it changes color. Also, apparently, it screwed up a lot of the admin that was around. Firebrand has cleared the perimeter, sir, meeting limited resistance. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? 
Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens, for 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders, because we believed a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease, to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us today. Truly. Humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. All right, my apologies for that. I had to clean something off really quickly. So I muted myself. Uh, yeah, that was actually pretty slick how it was switching back and forth between the intended video and the actual truth behind what they were doing. And then to polish everything off, they... show apparently the speaker getting attacked. So that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, unfortunately, we got two wounded. They're not gonna be ready for the final mission, I don't think. Or... They will be? I was confused, I thought we were going right into the final mi This is it, Commander. It's we are. We put 26, oh my goodness. An Archon, Muton... Gatekeeper, Andromedon, Heavy Mech, Codex, Sectopod, and Sectoids. 26. Oh, this is gonna be rough. We're prepared to access the Psionic Gateway. All I. All indicates. Indications are that it will lead us to the aliens inner sanctum and the source of their power this is our chance to end their hold on our world once and for all ooh 26 that's not it's not it's almost no it definitely is the most aliens i think we've come across and that's just the aliens that are there that's not taking into account the ones that could potentially show up as we're there. This is going to be... This is going to be... Very interesting. I'm thinking right now of all the different combinations of soldiers I could bring along. Commander, we can't afford to let this operation oh. get away from us. Even if it means sending our wounded forces back into combat, we have to succeed at all costs. Don't know if I want to do that though. Well, let's clear our squad. Who's going to lead us? Raven, you're our very first Psy operative. Well, our, our second Psy operative. We don't talk about the first one much because I didn't realize exactly how Psy operatives worked at the time and we got him killed on the very first mission we took him out on. 
Medic. Definitely. Diamond. Definitely. I want to bring them so bad, but they're wounded. And that's just asking for trouble. Ghost. Definitely our top hacker. And... Two psionics. Two specialists. A ranger. You know what? We're gonna bring him. And he's bringing all... All the proximity mines. That he can. Uh, he has three armor. 13 plus 6 minus 2. Actually, actually, no he's not. You know what he's bringing? He's bringing... The stasis vest. That right there is going to be like... He's going to get two health immediately, so he's going to be fully healed. And then if it takes any more damage, he'll be good to go. Make everything available. Weapons as well. We want to make sure we're fully decked out before we go along with anything. I think we're good with you. Aside from your... <clears throat> what you're taking, your loadout. But we're going to check your gun. Superior scope and an advanced autoloader. Weapon upgrade. The autoloader is nice. But we're going to give you a superior scope instead. I mean it's stock instead. Or the hair trigger. Hair trigger. More shots, more shots, definitely. Uh, you. What is your weapon currently? Advanced stock, advanced repeater? Nope, not good enough. Superior stock. Advanced repeater. Do we have a superior repeater? No, we do not. You, your weapon. You have a scope as well. And an expanded magazine. Advanced and advanced. I think we're good with that. Your shotgun, I think, is pretty legit. Yeah, your shotgun's absolute right now. You have cereal. If we properly use cereal, put him in a good position, use cereal. Let's make sure your weapons are good. A superior stock and a superior extended magazine. Miss shots do three. This person is basically going to be our sweeper. We're gonna run and gun. No, I don't think we can run and gun then serial. But the goal is to basically put them in the middle of a uh, kill zone and just serial every single troop we can. We could potentially get off. What do we have? We have four, five, six, seven, seven. 21. We can potentially get 21 shots off with one serial. That would mean 21 kills, so that's highly unlikely. Like, that's not going to happen. But that's, like, the potential with this individual. Ghost. 
I think your weapon's pretty specter. I think you're set up. Uh, loadout. Superior expanded, extended, you know, expanded, and the hair trigger. And you. Advanced hair and a superior autoloader. As for loadout, everybody gets some kind of armor on this one. Ooh, we have two stasis vests. Uh, you should have, no, you need to have more dodge. You definitely need to have more dodge. You get the Wraith suit. And we have no armor. So you get the Talon rounds, actually. That is a heck of a bonus with cereal on this guy. Or, instead of the Wraith, we stick with the Warden. No, the Dodge. Mm, but the Dodge only helps us take less damage. So we'll stick with the Warden. And give you more armor. So you have two bonus armor total. And a base of 28 dodge. That's great. You will get the dragon rounds. You will get armor piercing. You are a medic, so you get the medkit as well. This is for our hacker. We definitely want this setup established. The poison rounds or something different? Probably armor piercing if we still have them. Yeah, AP. Your aim's kind of bad though. You know what? I think I'll give you the armor piercing. You will get. I really want to bring Doom Gal. But do we not take one of our psionics operatives instead? Because we take Doom Gal. There's going to be so many enemies we could potentially see with her. That's the thing. But the other thing to keep in mind is we have two psionics. We definitely have to bring bring Raven, Nakamura Raven. Thompson Tiger. Yeah, we'll bring both our psionics. They're too strong. The mimic beacon will forgo the armor because that saves the whole squad basically. You, instead of getting... Yeah, you, you need to get a ammunition instead of...
you'll get the poison rounds. And you'll get the mimic beacon. Mimic, flame, med, AP, mimic, AP, talon, armor, mind jack for the hacking abilities on the sectopod, poison rounds. And then our grenadier has the shot. What's it called? The, um... Shredder gun. A stasis vest. And a proc mine. Two proc mines, technically. With, because of the stasis vest, a bonus of two health and two regeneration every turn up to eight HP. He is our tank. Max Tax Man the Tank Griffin. He also has a personal combat sim that gives him plus four to health. He could probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an elder and be fine. Ghost. You have a personal combat sim of Dodge. You have a Dodge. You have Willpower. Yeah, we want to keep that. We want to have you. What do you have for uh, personal combat and aim? I think we want to keep the aim on you. Yeah, we want to keep the aim on you. Restoration also. That is a heck of an ability. Wait, hail of bullets? Hold on. Hold on. The execution of chance is like amazing. But do you have something in superior? Laser sight. So wait a minute. We're going for crit kills with diamond. Do we forgo the auto loader? I just put that on the gun. What are your abilities? Untouchable, Reaper, Serial. You also have Blade Master, so if anyone crosses your path, you can cut them. You don't need the Superior Auto Loader, I don't think. Or take away the Extended Magazine and stick with the Superior Auto Loader because that's 4, 8, 12. That's 12 potential shots in one round. Yeah, 12 is better over 7. It sucks because it's literally taken away 21, but we will not have... We, we want the laser sight. It's a 15 crit. It's so good. It gives us a uh, 35... Just a 35 base crit chance, I think. And then we have plus 20, so we're getting a 55 base crit chance on every shot we make. Yeah, that's what I'm sticking with. Hold on, is your gun named? Is your gun named? We need to name your gun if it's not named. Yeah, we need to name that. What's a what's a good name for a crit weapon? A crit based weapon. Well, there you go. Bang. Bang, bang. She shot me down. Okay. Make sure that's named. The claw. Your plasma rifle is... 
arrow. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually better. That's actually better. That is definitely better than bang. That is, yes. Because we're basically going to be going through the aid, the aid. I tried to say Advent and Aliens at the same time, and I was going to say Adians. Anyways, the Advent slash Aliens are uh, going to be torn asunder as if they were hit by an arrow. Spectre. Okay. Really quickly, I just want to make sure we have absolutely everything. Yeah, we have... Yep. We're ready to go. One last final check. Claw. The real weapon. Two Mimic Beacons. Two armor piercing rounds, a dragon round, a, a viper a venom round, and talon rounds. The only one who doesn't have any kind of special ammunition is our grenadier, but he has the shredder gun. So we are commencing the final assault. Let's do it. Let's beat the game. Both our psionics are coming with us. Oh, wait a minute. We might have three psionics on this mission. I've infused this material totally... with the entirety of our viable elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. Watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. You're awfully calm, considering the fact my mind is going to go inside the mind of that thing. Synthesis nearing completion. Now, Lily. Initiating network connection. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. You did what was needed. Never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. You're oh, that's this. awesome. All the customized soldiers. Humanity's that's phenomenal. I love that. People. That gave me, like, butterflies. Oh, that was so cool. Good luck, Commander. I am hyped up. Let's do this. I think we're going to have three psionics coming on this mission, including the two that we trained up to max level, and the commander. We have two specialists, one with a focus on hacking, one with a focus on healing, and our grenadier. It's a shame that that scene was a little bit laggy, but <sighs> still was pretty cool seeing all the customized characters saluting the commander's avatar as they walk to the base.
Okay. Let the chaos ensue. As soon as we're done loading. There we go. Well, that's not going to happen. Okay. Let's let's get a good low out, low out. Let's get a good layout of the land. This is a big area. This is going to be very interesting. No problem, boss. All right. It's worth it. Here I come. What's over there? Minimal no double moves. Oh, looks like this is the spot. Two mutants and an archon. We can take the archon. <laughs> But I want to save it. I want to save Domination. Then again, that all depends on what kind of abilities our commander has. Or our avatar, I should say. Commander's avatar. Dimensional Rift, Null Lance, and Mind Control. Huh. Okay. Well, you have some some movement capabilities on you. I mean, yeah, that works. We're going to have so many quote-unquote allies by the time we're ready to... Raven, let's move you over here Finally. and let's actually run and gun with you. Call it ass. Just so you can move, ironically, or not ironically. Uh, just slightly over there. Just so you're not bunched up like that. A 73 to crit. If it hits, they basically just die. Go for it. It was a 20, but we've hit less percent chances. Everybody else is just going to overwatch, I think. Yeah. Not really a case to do too any do too much strenuous activity. Uh apparently to our right another group's coming by, maybe. The fact this is a mind control, not a domination, means we can probably lose the mind control. Three misses in a row. I got nothing. At least you polished one off. Did you see that one? Oh. That sucks. It was only two though, so 
Not too bad. Well, that's a line of BS, if I ever heard one. I didn't want to do that. It went, what? That was weird. I did not mean for that to happen. Oh, this thing's dead. Oh, 118% chance of crit. Well, good riddance. Doesn't even tell us how much damage we did. It just says crit. Did we do more damage than uh can register? Finally. Yeah, just polish it off, honestly. Hopefully we have another mind control in the chamber. And it's not based on one time use only. Kind of bunched up there. It's fine though. Let's do this. Move into over scanning. Ghost will get his time to shine when uh that sectopod comes in range. Have a mind. I guess that'll be okay. I guess we'll just move you up a little no bit farther than everybody else. Same goes for you. Move, move, move. Cover it. Cover it. Overwatch. Currently on the final assault. Getting reports from across the globe, Commander. Advent forces are hitting back hard. Our people are holding their own, but it's not looking good. Whatever we're gonna do, we better do it fast. Advent offered your people hope. Well, hello, Brighter speaker. How are you today? To be you managed to make great. it out of that mob, Still, so congratulations on that, you slippery snake. What more can we offer you? the greatest gift of all. Kind of makes sense because I bet you're a Thin Man. And as we've seen, Thin Men are just Vipers. And Vipers are the worst. Way more terrifying than Thin Men. Thin Men. Also, two Andromedons and a Gatekeeper. Ooh. Um. Proximity Mine? That hopefully hits... Hmm, hold on, let's think. The shredder gun does not... You can fire the shredder gun at both of those. Oh! You have the lance, don't you? We go here. Maybe we can lance both of them. I think we can definitely lance both of them if we go over here. I think it might be just a hair off. Uh, Ranger dude. Okay. What's... You do not have a good... Go for the 51, I suppose. Yep. 
I'm pretty much every single shot he takes, if he hits, is gonna be a crit. Uh, we don't need restoration right now. Guaranteed shot on this thing. We'll have to reload afterwards. But it could potentially kill it with execution. Nope. You are like literally just if you say so. a hair shy on mobility. What do you got? Soul fire, we can kill it. Do that. Your mind is your weakness. Rather get rid of the gatekeeper. Guaranteed. Than risk anybody else. Um, that's too close. That won't be able to null lance both of them. What kind of range do you have on your null lance? Interesting. So if we just move you up here, that is still too close for comfort, honestly. You can move though, good. Because we're going to null lance with you. We can only hit one another, can't we? Well, I guess we... What about a dimensional? Okay, we do dimensional rift. Shoot, that's a big dimensional rift. Yeah. The ghost. 39. Or, or. Mm. No, because there's. Might want to just overwatch with him, honestly. And we're going to definitely move you up to here. And probably overwatch. Here I come. That's. That's a little close. We should be good though. I'm on it. Come get some. Haven. Move you up here. Here I come. Probably again. Overwatch. Yep. Yep. Come on. These Andromedons are gonna want to move, and when they do. Will proc potentially three overwatches, I think it is. So it'll probably get through stage one real quick, at least on one of them. Hopefully, both of them get stage one. Or we can just get acid burned, because apparently they were still too close. Good thing we brought a medic. You just overwatch? I'm more than okay with that. Ooh, Max Griffin is hurt. Oh, that, didn't feel good. that sucks. Okay, we need to move them out of the acid, but first, let's try and get rid of that overwatch. Or, you know, they could be dumb and just stay within the zone. Apparently, we're also no longer burning from acid. Yeah. And yet here you are. Just as we had envisioned. Um, what's your shots like? 92? In your efforts to prevent the Avatar's creation, you have followed the path we set forward. Truly exceeding. Already at half health. That's not good. Commander. Shut him out, Commander. More alien lies. Do you truly believe that to be the case? Is it clear? 
I mean, you started this whole thing by gathering up people and turning them to a soup. So... Oh, this might just kill him. It did not crit. A 72 to crit and it didn't crit. That's actually really surprising. Guns dry. Uh, you're a medic, so you're probably just going to heal for your turn and then run to catch up. Go help him out. Well, heal one, then move, I think. Because it's probably healed to full. Yeah. Uh... We'll wait on you. Oh yeah, this this guaranteed shots on both of them. Let's get you here. We'll probably just reload with you. Go for the 93 to take this thing out. Glorious commander, take the other one out. Well, not take the other one out, but do enough damage to allow some damage to take out. Tax man. Get it? Glorious. Okay. You can't handle me. That was a little rough. Make sure everyone that moved has, or everyone that can move has. That stasis suit is actually pretty awesome to have on our tank. We really need to be separated. You get your first free reload. There's literally no cover to get to this turn for you. Well, I lie. Commander, alien forces are stepping up their attacks on both resistance and civilian targets. There is still another way. I love how, as they're saying, we don't mean, we mean you no harm. We come in peace. They're literally attacking civilians. If you meant peace, you would not be attacking civilians. I do not know where to place half of you. Baby steps. Come get some. Honestly, baby steps for everybody. Affirmative, covering now. That should be far enough away from everybody. On Overwatch. Got it covered. You, I don't like having you out Scanning. there that far ahead of everybody else. So we're going to move as a team and just slowly sweep as a team. Well, by doing this, say, okay, so if what they're saying is true, they're doing the same thing to every planet they come across, it sounds like. Yeah, apparently there's a threat greater than them out there, so that's great. If that's actually true, which it probably is. Let's do this. Sacrifice a couple hundred million to save a couple hundred billion. That's probably the idea they have. But there's always a better way to do it than just secretively Seems doable. super fi 
everybody on Earth. Moving to fire position. That is, that's just. This is too far ahead. I know it is. But luckily, we have run and gun on you. Really? Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Scanning. Scanning. Copy Call that. me surprised on that one. Okay. GG. Yep, this is the end game right here. I'm, I'm very, very hyped up. Intense. Commander, resistance forces are pushing back against Advent, but it's coming at a heavy price. At this rate, there may not be anything left on either side. From here, you can call upon an endless legion of reinforcements. You will be overrun. That is not P oh yay, we've spotted some more enemies. This is what I was waiting for. I want more more. More engage no? Really? For a minute that I thought I couldn't switch to anybody else, so I thought where are they? The fact I wish like we would see them already. The not knowing is the worst part. I guess that'll be okay. Like only two pods, no problem, and we're boss. quote unquote this far in. Overwatch. I do not like that. Moving Overwatch. Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Everybody gets Overwatch. Scanning. Yeah, there's definitely got to be another group in this area. Join me, Luke, and together we can rule the world. That's the kind of vibes I get from this. Psionic individuals do not have a lot of mobility. Roger that. That's a little too close for comfort, honestly. Hold on, do you have movement? You do. I'm all over it. Okay, so this spots. This spotted. We've got Advent here. Oh. Okay. I should have kept my big mouth shut because. Oh, shit. Um. This is a lot of people. Okay, first things first, where's Ghost? Ghost! Um, you can't, there's nothing for you to hack. Okay, uh, Dimensional Rift, everybody? Oh my god, can we hit everybody? No, we cannot. So, we're gonna Dimensional Rift. The most dangerous threats, which are all right here. Why? There we go. Dimensional Rift is amazing on the commander. 
Yeah, okay. We solved the problem. Problem solved. I mean... I am not worried about that clone. I'm kind of worried about clones now. I'm a little worried about that one. Hmm. Okay, you put yourself in a bad spot. Put the other one over there too, please. Put them all over there. Ooh, close. Close. What the hell are you doing this far back? Oh, good lord. Run forward. Over here. Um, do we have cereal? No, we have Reaper. That's just, that's, that's death waiting to happen, basically. That is something we are not going to do. Raven, um, can you get... No. A Void Rift over there. You can! question is what do we want to do we want to move you up here a little bit Let's move already. I don't think the void rift will actually hit I mean it can ooh actually we're gonna void rift over here just so we can hit both archons I think yeah they also have a a chance to suffer insanity as well so we're gonna we're gonna hit them there, and hopefully they'll get insanity target. No? 77 to kill that. Diamond. You're kind of in a bad spot. You get flanked, basically. Just, I don't like it, but you kind of have to move, because you there's a chance, there's too high of a chance you get flanked. The same kind of goes for you. But they have to do more, so just Overwatch. Well, if anything's in that area, it gets it goes boom. So. Ooh, you didn't kill it. That, that's, oh no. Yeah, that's not good. Oh. Well, we need to heal the commander. Oh no. Oh. Missed because of behind full cover? No, you went in Overwatch. Oh god. Missed because you suck. Thank you. There was a fire fight! Oh, Bladestorm. Well, shit. Missed because you suck. Nope. Okay, you need healed again. Oh, you teleported right into the death, death zone. That's awesome. And then you ran, so... Overwatch you. What are you doing? You move twice, I think. Yeah. You're moving twice, I hope. You did move twice. Okay, good. We have one Overwatch. You're gonna move twice. We're getting completely surrounded, so this is not good. We have, I think, two suppressions and one overwatch on the mech. Also, one overwatch on the... Okay, so this took out a couple of problems. Took out a lot of the problems. Okay. Oh my god. This game is running so slow. 
positions and enemy forces on the ground. Units suddenly laying down their arms mid-battle or turning on one another. Serial. It could be that the elders are attempting to maintain the yes. network on their own. The strain on this must be enormous. Okay. Action refresh. No, no, that was going to be so good. Hey, ghost. I mean. Hold on. First of all, we can cut. No, we can't. Can we age protocol somebody? Capacitor discharge? No. Okay, we'll, we'll delay on you, Ghost. Don't forget about the codexes. Do not forget about the codexes. Um. Mimic Beacon! Mimic Beacon. Yes. Mimic Beacon. Uh. Anywhere. Anywhere. Okay. And Okay, first things first. What can you do? Mind control. No, because that dies. You can no land. Ooh. Does this... Okay. That's actually good. I'll no lance two of them. That's one codex and one max. We still have... Like, three or four codexes. One's on Overwatch. There's a mech on Overwatch. Uh, there's a codex directly behind you that you apparently cannot see. Which sucks. There's a codex right there we can take out, and a codex right there we cannot really take. Attack man. Uh... Raven. We can insanity. Okay, ghost, who do you have the better shot on? Okay, so we insanity the other one. Okay, no, first things first. How do you not, you do, a 37. Hit it, please. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Suppressed and an Archon. That's great. Go for the 73 on this ghost. We can't move her because she's suppressed. Raven. Raven. Move first. Move here. Let's do this. Oh. You're not going to hit. I thought that... No, I should have thought better than that. Okay. Um...
Well, I'll get some health back from you. Yeah, get some health back from you. Gloria. Um. You see that? Yep, and you got some health back. Alright. I don't. I don't even know how you. Who's most at risk right now? You, honestly. So you do have a move. So first thing first, heal. Heal Diamond. Because he's most vulnerable right now. We have two heals left. Keep that in mind. We also have restoration, but we're going to save this for like bad. I'm really aggravated that you don't have a shot on this puffball. This gets rid of suppression. And there's a chance to execute, I think, with her weapon. So we're going to take that chance to execute. Okay. Two codexes and two mechs on our site so far. What are you doing? Overwatching? Okay, that was weird. Oh, Mimic Beacon. I forgot. I, I keep forgetting that Mimic Beacons are like OP. Please don't nerf. This is great. You're going to go for the Mimic Beacon as well, right? Or you're going to go... Yep, 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 yep. Good. Good, 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 good. That's fine. That took the mech's turns. And now we have free reign to do whatever we please. The Codexes. Okay. Now you're going to shoot at our Psionic. No, you're going to shoot at our Ghost. Oh! That's actually better. Weapons disabled. Now we book it out of there. As long as the other codex... Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're angry. That's okay. Um... Where is... You. You. You don't need to move. There's a mech there, so that's a shame. I mean, sure. That took care of that. Oh, free action. Great. Save it for an Inspire. Here. And I think oh, there's a Null Lance. Yeah, a Null Lance. Hold on. I need to check the Null Lance and see what kind of an angle we get. Do not press X. Do not press X. Okay, so if we're over here, our angle will look like this. That should be good enough. This should be the angle right here. That turn twice so we can get a better angle. Okay, perfect. Drop them both. Psionics are OP, and I love them for it. Yes, I do. That should be out of the range of the thing. Whatever you say. And then reload. Yes, okay. You have movement, so use your movement to go here. Yeah, use your movement to go here. Get a better shot on this thing, and kill this thing. Because you do not proc overwatches, so keep that in mind as well. Alright, 89 kill. Go for the kill, obviously. 14 damage. That is a lot of damage. Okay, so I got one. Commander, 
GTFO, of course, and reload. Raven, let's just run you in here so we can get you with the team. Ghost, again, we'll move you up here a little bit and then just reload. Tax man, you gotta book it. We'll put you right here and reload. Let's move that's that's a little close. That's a little close, but it should be out of the zone. Reloaded. Ready to engage. Overwatch Lock us in place. I did not expect that many to just be saying hi. Makes sense they wouldn't give us small pods though. Okay, shakes. Uh, go behind this full cover. Always full cover. The more full cover, the better. You get to run and gun. And you get to go as far as possible behind this full cover. No need to ask twice. And you're probably going to overwatch. I don't know where to put you. Tiger. Okay, I'll go. Really, Raven? Yeah, we'll just put you behind here. Tiger That's full cover. Up. Ghost. Copy. Everybody else. Overwatch. I'm on Overwatch. Got it covered. That's way too far up ahead. This is kind of close Let's together, but I, I'm okay with it for now. Overwatch. I don't think they're going to move, but if I proc them, they do move. Um, Commander, you have the most movement. Well, okay, so let's see how many we proc. Can we get full cover anywhere? We can. Finally. Okay. That's why we put Overwatch on everybody, because now they're gonna run to us, and we have a fire uh, firing squad ready and raring to go. How many hit? I think that's two misses so far. We have seven. Uh, so no, five to go. Four, three, yeah, I didn't get it. Two, Um 
boss. Let's do this. I mean, you'll wait to the right, but whatever. You you may actually end up inspiring somebody. Raven, Raven, I want you to see what you can do. You can dominate potentially. Uh. Go for the seventy-one. Nice. Yeah, you're angry, that's fine. You have a 40, so you're gonna go into Overwatch. Oh, I don't like doing this, but I want to. Is it clear? Oh, it's not so good. Okay. 73 is way better, but we're gonna Overwatch for the next target because we're hoping. Wait a minute. Yes. Guarantee the kill on this thing. I'd rather guarantee it than risk it and potentially move everyone else or just go and overwatch with everybody else. Taxman, I think you're going to also go up here and you're going to overwatch. So, you, good sir, what are you going to do? I think you're going to go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. That's, that's sort of close. That's perfect grenading opportunity right there. But these are our two highest health people, so. Now, you have a better Overwatch shot, I bet. Raven. I guess you'll just overwatch. This thing's gonna move, and it's gonna get blasted upon by three people? If it doesn't get killed with the first one, which I highly doubt. Oh, is he running? You got a better chance, so I hope you get it. Okay. So we're gonna make sure we can get everyone in a position we want. Well I'm trusting you here. So most of the individuals we can get up except like a select few. Select few being the obvious suspects. Let's do this. Said obvious suspect being our psionics. So we're gonna just chill. You don't really have a good. I don't want to put you up here. I'm going. But I want. But I kind of have to because next turn you're going up here. Come get some. We good? We cut out for a second there. Are we back?